Hi, if you've got an old GoPro Hero camera, a one, a two, a three, or a four, that you would like to bring into your live streaming setup, just to give you an additional angle, maybe an overhead or just a widescreen view of your studio, then I've got the way that you can use that. There's a couple of settings and I'll show you how I've connected mine and give you a couple of tips to enable you to use it for long-term streaming. So just keep watching and I'll go straight through it now. So here we have the GoPro Hero 3 and you can see there on the screen the settings that I'm using which is the normal aspect ratio on the video mode and it says 1080 by 30 frames a second. The 00, zero if you don't know the GoPros is the recording time so we don't need to press the button on the top to start recording because we are going to be plugging this directly into the Mac and the 3 hours 22 is the uh, time that I have remaining on the SD card, the micro SD card that's plugged into the camera. Now next to that is the battery which shows it as being nearly full. Um, but if I just turn over on the, to the side, we're plugging in the HDMI cable into the top slot there and then we're plugging in a USB cable to power the device through the next slot. We do not need an SD card in the camera for this to work in Ecamm and for it to work as a, as a webcam. Just to let you know, even though I do have one in there, it's just for safekeeping. Other than that, you do need to have the USB power plugged just into a USB power socket or a USB converter, not directly into the computer. Otherwise, that will force the computer to recognize the GoPro Hero. And instead of allowing the HDMI to work, it will give you data relating to the camera itself. So you must have the HDMI connected to the computer through your HDMI capture card and then a separate power supplied USB for the camera and then you will find it all works very nicely for you. I have found that we I can't get HDMI out from this device at an any higher level than 1080 by 30 so you can try on your later at GoPros, but I expect that 108030 is the maximum resolution and frame rate that feeds data out of the HDMI port. The other thing, of course, is we need to have access to the ports for the cables. So you can't put your normal waterproof uh, container on this because you won't have any access to those ports. There are holders available that will just go around the outside of the GoPro so that you can get access to those ports. The HDMI capture card, as we call them, that I am using is this one here. It was about less than $30 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. The thing I liked about it was that it has a cable on it which gives you a little bit of extra flexibility rather than the ones which are simply just straight into being the, the hardware device like this. And I wanted to have a little bit of flexibility because of where I was plugging the device in. The other good thing about this one is it's got a USB-C connector so that would work on a new Mac or a new MacBook. And it also comes with the converter to standard USB 2. So that comes with that. And I'll leave a link in the description. That, of course, goes on to the other end of the HDMI cable into your computer. From the GoPro Hero, you will also need another cable. Probably you can get a mini HDMI straight 
through to a standard male socket but in most cases I suspect you'll be looking for a converter much like this one so this HDMI mini HDMI plugs directly into the HDMI port here like so and then you'll plug your HDMI cable male into there and then that goes through into the Mac feeding the HDMI signal the power is supplied to the GoPro Hero through the USB port and it requires one of these connectors I don't know exactly what it is is USB B or something like that you'll have to look it up but you'll know for your specific device that plugs into there we have power being fed in through the bottom port and HDMI out through the port above it let's go now into demo mode in Ecamm to show you how that might work hi so I've just turned on demo mode and we have no SD card in the camera but it does show that if I go to the camera then the USB video which is what the HDMI converter cable comes up as shows up as a camera so here if I select that we can see that I am now able to move the camera around so you're now seeing me straight through the HDMI of the GoPro Hero 3 so just to confirm there is no SD card micro SD card in the camera you don't need that but you definitely need the battery the battery must be in there for this to work so here I have the cameras both next to one another this one here is the Canon 6D and that one over there is my GoPro Hero 3 as you can see they both work very well and I can even somehow talk to myself hopefully you enjoyed that and you think that that might enable you to find your old GoPro and make use of it within Ecamm if you have any questions then please leave those questions in the comments and I hope to be able to help you in the near future. Thanks.